thankful. in this here parish don't appreciate me. <laughs> Anti-parochial they are, ma'am. Anti-parochial. Why, we have given away a matter of 20 loaves and a cheese and a half this very blessed afternoon. Ah, and still the paupers is not contented. Of course they're not. When would they be? <sighs> sweet, Mr. Mumble. <laughs> very sweet indeed, ma'am. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, you have a cat, I see, ma'am. And kittens, too, I declare. I'm so fond of them, you can't imagine. And they're fond of their own, too. Mrs. Corny, ma'am, may I say that any cat or kitten that could live with you, ma'am, and not be fond of its home must be an idiot, ma'am, and don't deserve to live in it. Oh, Mr. Bundle. There's no <laughs> use disguising facts, ma'am. An idiot and I would drown it myself with pleasure. Well, then you're a cruel man. A very hard-hearted man and all. Hard-hearted, Mrs. Corney? Hard? Hard-hearted, ma'am? Are you hard-hearted, Mrs. Corney? Oh, dear me. 
What a very curious question coming from a single man. What can you want to know for? Well, I'm... <laughs> oh, Mr. Bumble! Is there not another room here? No! If there were a bride and groom here, would there be? Well, there might. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> I shall scream! I shall scream! At the thought of what you're thinking, I shall scream! You will wonder where your scream went. When we come to an agreement, as my love in love is chubby, would she love a chubby puppy? <laughs> I shall scream, Mr. Bubble! I shall scream, Bubble Bubble! I shall scream! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Get a good price for him, Mr. Bumble. Oh, here, yeah, child. <clears throat> Come on. Superb effect, the more I think about it. For what? 
just for once, you might have had a decent idea. Very well then, boy, what's your name? Oliver. Oliver Twist, ma'am. Oh, a singular name. I am one of my own choosing. Yours, Mr. Bumble? Mine, Mrs. Sowerberry. Well, how's that, Mr. Bumble? The boy's mother came to us destitute, brings the child into the world, takes one look at him and promptly dies without leaving so much as a forwarding name and address. Dear, dear. Well then, Oliver Twist, do you think you could look like that gentleman up there? Perhaps. If I had a black hat. Oh. Never mind about black hat. <gasps> the boy's right, Henry. Fetch the boy a hat. Yes, here. <gasps> These things must be done proper and correct. Stand there under the picture, boy. The hat, Henry, the hat. Really, it takes you twice as long to do anything as anyone else. Yes, yeah, dear, yeah, twice as long. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Now then, Oliver Twist, do you think you could keep that expression for a long time? With a really large crowd watching you. Yes, ma'am. I think so. He's a born undertaker's muse. I can see him in a black silk suit. Following behind the funeral procession with features fixed in a suitable expression. There are horses with tall black plumes to escort us to the family tombs. With mourners Corners who went on to weep in tune. Then the coffin lined with satin. That's your funeral. That's your funeral. Large enough to wear your hat in. That's your funeral. That's your funeral. We're just here to glamorize you for an endless sleep. You might just as well be fetching when you're six feet deep.
must I travel far and wide Till I am beside the someone who I can mean something to Must I travel far and wide Till I am beside the someone who I can mean something to
dead? Very much alive!
gone to see yourself or one of the family. I've taken it you so strong. It's clear we're going to get along. Gone to see yourself when in. Gone to see yourself part of the furniture. There isn't a lot to spare. Who cares what ever we got we share. If it's a chance to be, we should see some harder days and the harder days. Why grouse? Always a chance for me, somebody to foot the bill. Then the drinks are on the house. Consider yourself my mate. We don't want to
I hope to have the honor of your intimate acquaintance. Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! I'm very glad to see you all of my dear. Very glad indeed. Uh, Charlie, pull up a tub near the fire for all of them and uh, take off the sausages. Oh yeah, but these sausages are staying in Maldi. Shut up and drink your gin. <laughs> I see you're uh, looking at all the Pocket handkerchiefs, my dear, there are quite a few of them, ain't there? Uh, well, we just uh, hung them out uh, ready for the wash. Oh, uh, oh, the wash. Yeah, the wash. That's all. Is this a laundry then, sir? <laughs> uh, not exactly. Uh, I suppose a laundry would be a very nice thing indeed, but uh, our line of business pays a little better, don't you, boys? Yeah. Uh, so, so, so. You see, Oliver, in this life, one thing counts. In the bank, large amounts. I'm afraid these don't grow on trees. You've had to pick a pocket or two. Hey, you've got to pick a pocket or two. And boys, hey, you've got to pick a pocket or two. Large amounts don't grow on trees. You've got to pick a pocket or two. <laughs> Let's show all of our hearts, Tunch. I better get someone taxed to come. Better pick a pocket or two. I never got to pick a pocket or two. Boys, you've got to pick a pocket or two. Hard as nails! 
What have you got for me, daughter? A couple of whites. Well lined, I hope. Only the best. Not as heavy as they might be, but nicely made. Quite the ingenious work, my dear Oliver. Did you make these yourself? Shut up! I'll tell you what, hands. Be quiet, Charlie. What have you got for me? Mm. Uh, nose rags. They're very good. <laughs> really? Uh, but uh, uh, you haven't uh, embroidered the initials very well now, have you, Charlie? Uh, H R H. Uh, we'll have to pick them out with a needle, won't we? Any ideas? You'll, you'll have to learn how to do that too, Oliver. Uh, and you'll have to learn how to uh, make wallets like Dodger and Charlie. You'd like that, wouldn't you, my dear? Oh, yes, Mr. Fagin. If you'll teach me. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, my boy, certainly. Uh, no fee. Uh, just do everything you see Dodger and Charlie do. Make them your model, my dear. Especially Dodger, he's going to be a right Bill Sykes. Who's Bill Sykes? Oh, all in good time, Oliver. All in good time. Oh, uh, do you happen to see the uh, silk handkerchief protruding from my pocket? Yes. Oh, do you think you could uh, take it out without me noticing like you saw all the other boys do? Let's give it a try, shall we? Timing is all.
no, I wouldn't dare. Uh, besides, I have to tell it all. I couldn't drop it. <laughs> Tomorrow, Bill, usual place. Three cripples. It's a promise. Pretty things, my dear. Yes. Well, they're my, they're my, they're my personal property. It's all I have to live on in my old age. It's a terrible thing, all of that. Old age. Mm, may I get up now, sir? Oh, oh. <laughs> certainly. There's a basin of water over there. Go to have a wash. But I only had to wash yesterday, sir. Well, it's your birthday. Go wash. Without things, it's a fine line. It's a fine. The 
This is Oliver Twist, Esquire. This is Nancy and Bet. Charmed to meet you. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Uh, we're all ladies and gentlemen, all quality. Oh, how old Golly, are you? you had no quality uh, in your side, none of you. Except Dodge. Have you seen the way them quality gentlemen treat their ladies? Of course I have. Shall we show them how it's done? The righty. Oh, how about a free show, Nancy, on the yes, side? Yes, oh, 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 How's it go again? It's all that hats off and bowing. And don't let your petticoats dangle in the mud, my dog. And I'll go last. No, I'll go last. I'll go last. I'd do anything for you, dear. Anything for you, mean. Everything to me. I know that I'd go anywhere for your smile. I risk everything for one kiss. Everything, yes, I do. Anything, and anything for you. I'll tell you the words you don't know.
I got heavy lads lying around all day. There's work to be done and fine pickings in the street, uh, Nancy. Uh, you should get home before Bill wakes up. All right, listen up, you lot. Especially you, Oliver. Don't get home. Yeah. Ta ta for now. Oliver, come on over here, my man. <laughs> Dodger. Dodger! What? Take Oliver with you. You have to get a start somewhere, my dear, and couldn't make a finer start. Good luck on your first day at work, and I will be waiting for you here when you get home. Until you're home, safe and sound, very well, back soon. Who can tell when danger's lurking? Do not forget this tune. Be back soon. How can we forget? How can we let our kids on sight? Pork has anchor cheese, and you should be clever thieves with quick pack soon. There's a sixpence here for twenty, ain't that a lovely tune? Be back soon. Our pork is so cold, our watch have gold, that chimes up on the hour. A one is back, all the time. The crowd jewels from the tower, we know the most street runners, but they don't know. Bless you, remember our old you. Be back soon. We must see you. We'll be back here today, perhaps tomorrow. We'll miss you too. It's sad, but you look at parting, such big sorrow. And remember in the distance, you'll hear this whispering tune. So long, we love it.
quiet and dream he was an earl with a girl on each day. Told you. 
Well, where's Oliver? Where's the boy? Yeah, he always does. What have become of Oliver? He got took away in a coach. Who <laughs> coach? What coach? Where coach? He's got not done the job. They took him to court. We waited outside. The old man we robbed come out of the court with Oliver and took him off in a coach to his home. Where is your quick speed? Uh, 19 Chepsel Gardens, Bloomsbury. Uh, I run all the way. We were supposed to look after him. We were supposed to bring him back with us. We were supposed to never let him out of our sight! Oh! What of us built the new boy he went on a job with, with Dodger, and uh, I'm afraid he may say something that may get us all in trouble. That's very likely. You're blown upon Fagin. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm afraid, Bill, that if, uh, if the game went up with me, it might be with a good many more, and uh, it might come up a lot worse for you than it would for me. Someone must find out what's been done or said. If he ain't in talk to there's still a chance we might be able to get him back here without suspicion. We'll nab him the very moment he steps foot out of the house. Now, who's gonna go? I suppose it'll have to be me. Shut your trap, Tata. You've caused enough trouble already. This has got to be done quiet. We don't want any fuss. The very thing. Nancy, you're very good with the boy. It's no good trying it on me. And just what do you mean by that remark? What I say, Bill. I'm not going. Why can't you leave the boy alone? He's all do you know harm. Why can't you leave him where he is, where he's the chance at a decent life? You'll get him back here, my girl. Unless you want to feel my hands on your throat! <laughs> Nancy, Nancy, just, just think. If the boy were to speak, what, what, what would happen to all of us? What would happen to Bill? It would be the gallows for him, Nancy. The gallows. You wouldn't let that happen now, would you? Not to Bill. Not to your Bill. She'll go, Fagin. No, she won't, Fagin. Yes, she will! Go home, Bat! Oh, yes, he does.
I'm a busy man, you know, Mr. Brownlow. I'm on the way to buy roses for the missus. Oh, she is? No, no, not at all, sir. It's our anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Ah. Remember how melancholy that boy seemed to be the other day? Which one is this again, The blonde-headed boy. Well, against Oliver, I reckon. Yes, well, he, he looks so very much better. You're going to see a great improvement. That, sir, is for me to decide. Thank you, Mrs. Bedwin. How do you feel today, my boy? Very good, sir. May I stay here always? <laughs> If you wish, dear boy, if you wish. You are a great deal better, are you not? Yes. Yes, but still not seeing well, not seeing well. No, sir, seeing very well. Oh, just as I thought. But you're hungry, aren't you? No, sir. No? <laughs> I know you're not hungry. He's not hungry, Mrs. Bedwin. No, doctor. No, no, but you feel sleepy, don't you, boy? <laughs> No, sir. No, not sleepy. Not thirsty, are you? If that boy's thirsty, I'll eat my head. <laughs> are you? Yes. Just as thirsty. I expected. It's very natural to be thirsty. Mrs. Bedwin, you may give him a little tea. Now, Oliver, open up and say ah for me, boy. Ah. Uh... Hmm? Now, boy, two deep breaths. Good. Make it up now, sir. I think you may. And be sure to take in some of this fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Bedwin, be sure that you keep him warm, but not too cold. Will you have the goodness? Certainly, Doctor. Ah, you'll be glad to be up again, Oliver. Dr. Grimby? Yes? I'd like to show you something. You happen to notice the most extraordinary resemblance between that boy's face and this miniature of my daughter Agnes. No, I can't say I do. I only know two types of boys, mealy-faced boys and beef-faced boys. And which is Oliver? Mealy. Ugh. Where does he come from? Uh, didn't I tell you? He was arrested for stealing my pocket handkerchief. What, sir? Oh, it was all my mistake. And when the shopkeeper told us exactly what had happened and the magistrate released him, I brought him here to make what amends I could, but I must confess I find myself strangely attached to the boy. He's deceiving you, my good friend. He has had a fever now. What of that? Fevers are not peculiar to good people, are they? Bad people have fevers sometimes, haven't they? He stole your pocket handkerchief, sir. He will steal more. But he didn't. I just yes, told you he, he was... Yes, he will. Yes. Books you want from the book, sir. Ah, yes. Thank you very much. Now, I would like you to return some books for me, please. Oh, please, God. I did particularly wish to have some books returned today. Why not have Oliver return them, sir? He'll be sure to deliver them safely, you know. If he does, I'll eat my head, sir. Yes, let me take them for you, please, sir. If you wish, you shall. Now, this is what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to take this five pound note and say you've come to pay the four pound ten that, that Mr. Brown owes. Now, it's just up the street, but I do expect you back in ten minutes' time. <laughs> 
Yes, very good, sir. Now, let us see, Dr. Grimley. Ten minutes. Who will buy? 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 Who will 
truth. Oh, well, I have known. We both were delighted to see the battle in We must give him his jewel. And we'll praise the day somebody gave us freedom! Coming to see her as rewards! And a promotion! Yeah. I understand you bring information regarding the boy Oliver Twist. Uh, yes, sir. We came in answer to your advertisement. <laughs> uh, I decided to answer the advertisement. Oh, yes. Uh, my wife decided. Bob was the main middle of the workhouse where this boy was cared for, from where he was apprenticed to an undertaker where he ran away from. Yes, it's very good of you to come now. What is it you have to tell me? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, this locket was given by the lad's dying mother to me, dear wife, just before she passed away. Yeah. Uh, the lad's dying mother, that is, not me, dear wife. You say that when he left your workhouse, he went to an undertaker's? Yes, Mr. Sowerberry, the undertaker, took Oliver from us for five pounds. You mean to say you sold him like an animal? Uh, Actually, it was Mrs. Bumble who authorized the same. Really? Well, I will see to it that neither of you ever hold the position of trust again. Your behavior, madam, is shameful. Better show these people out. How dare you speak to us in such a way? We came here to help you. You came here in hopes of profiting from your own greed and dishonesty. As for that, sir, uh, the trinket uh, don't properly belong to me, dear wife. Shut so. up, you old fool. Here, ten pounds. Take it and consider yourself fortunate you don't find yourselves in the hands of law. Show these ghastly people out. We know our way out. Thank you very much. I hope uh, this unfortunate little circumstance won't deprive me of my parochial office. Oh, indeed it will. And you may consider yourself well off besides. It was all Mrs. Bumble she would do it. That is no excuse. For you were present on the occasion when the boy was sold. And indeed, sir, in the eyes of the law, you are more guilty of the two. For in the eye of the law, you are supposed to be in direction of your wife. Well, if the law supposes that, sir, then the law is an ass. And if that is the eye of the law, then the law is a bachelor. And the worst I can wish upon the law is that its eye be opened by experience. Have I seen by experience. <laughs> There's a young woman inquiring for you, sir. Miss Bennett, take a look at this miniature. Do you see who it is? Why, it's Miss Agnes, sir. Yes. Agnes. She must have found her way to the workhouse and had the child there. If only she had told us. Who is this? It's about the boy, sir. You have news about Oliver? Oh, he's in danger. In bad company. He's dragged off the day you sent him out with them books. Me and someone else. Where can I find him? Who, who is this other person? No, no, no. I shouldn't have said anything. You, you want to help the boy, don't you? Why else are you here? Oh, I do. I want to help him, but... Then at least tell me where I can find him. No. I can't. But I can bring him to you. Not here. It's too far. Where, then? The bridge. London Bridge, tonight at midnight. But you've got to come alone. Promise you'll come alone and... I'll find a way of getting into you. You don't believe me, do you? Well, if you want Oliver back, you've got to believe me. Very well, then. I'll be there. Oh, wait. Has the boy been hurt in any way? If no! I can't say no more. Kill me as it is if he knows where I've been. Who is this man? Perhaps I can get the Bow Street Runners after him. You here. can't! Whatever else I do, I won't turn on him. A man who might kill you? 
Yes. Please, mine. I know I'm his. I think I've... I understand, my dear. I've got to go back. I want to go back.
somebody change? It's possible. Maybe it's strange, but it's possible. All my dearest companions and treasures have left me behind. I'll turn and leave over, and who can tell what I will find? Shebang, nothing but the best. 